Life as an attorney or law student can be busy and at times super stressful. This is especially true for first year associates as well as brand new one else. The good news is the storm often passes and things do get better. The problem, however, is that in trying to survive and thrive in the rat race, we often develop poor habits, especially in our thinking, that follow us throughout the years. So one day we may look up and we may have found tremendous success, but it can be devoid of fulfillment and joy. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you the first of my seven commandments that I keep in mind every day to maintain my well-being as a professional. And I would love to hear some of yours in the comments below. All right, the commandments today is thou shall run your own race. In order to honor this commandment, you must do three things. First, you must remember that a race often does not end the way it starts. Have you ever seen uh, in the Olympics a swimming or track competition, or maybe horse racing or um, uh, Formula One racing? And there is a contest contestant for whom the race does not start really great. It's actually a pretty rough start. You might find them in the middle of the pack, sometimes even at the end of the pack. But somehow they suddenly get this burst of energy and they break away from the pack and they keep going and going and going and they end up finishing the race really great. They might even win the race. Now, I know you have seen that before. So I'm going to tell you in my last 15 years of being an attorney and also the CEO of Practice Pro, I have seen this again and again between associates as well as between law students. You know, so if you find yourself uh, having a rough start to any transition in your career or at any point, remind yourself that the race often does not end the way it starts. The second component of our commandment is do not get obsessed with looking at the competition. Not only will it make you feel super miserable, but it may actually hinder, even destroy the very results you're after. I know this is difficult for law students because you're graded on a curve and also for attorneys in the lockstep world, as well as the world of social media and LinkedIn, you may see other people get experiences, promotions, awards that um, accurately or sometimes often actually falsely you will attribute to being behind. Observing this component means um, you should not spend your very valuable time and energy thinking, oh, he or she has been outlining for weeks and I'm still barely keeping up with readings. They are so brilliant in class conversations. They always go to office hours. They already have a handful of interviews set up. Or as an associate, you can't spend so much energy looking at um, all these other people in my practice group or others or other firms are getting all these depositions or cool projects and I'm just now still doing memos. This does not mean you don't want to optimize your process if you're a law student or you should not have goals and ambitions and strive towards the things you want. It simply means that you should not put your focus on um, obsessing over others and watching others in the competition. Uh, you should believe in your process and your timing and know this Faster doesn't always mean better. Uh, before we go on to the third and the last um, component of uh, thou shall run your own race, I want to share with you a childhood story to hopefully bring home um, the importance of not uh, putting your energy into looking at the competition. 
Uh, I was a competitive kid. I wanted to be number one in all my classes, but I wasn't very good at swimming. I actually couldn't swim at all. So my mom put me in a swimming class um, when I was in second grade, the summer after my uh, second grade, there was going to be the end of the class, end of summer competition, and uh, the, our parents and siblings would come to watch. And because I was super competitive, I came up with this plan. And my plan was, I knew the strokes, I was fast. I was going to simply keep my head down and just go as fast as I can. So this was the strategy to the swim, the length of the pool and win. The competition started and I was going, going, going. And it was like, it, I felt like I was doing really well. And I opened my eyes under the water and I realized I was probably maybe three, maximum three arms length to the, uh, to the edge of the pool. And under the water, I tried to look to see where my where the second person was and I saw them and I thought they were a pretty safe distance and then I went and I came in second and then after the after the match my sister told me this it was very strange you went went and went you were so much faster you were by the time you had gone three-fourths of the way the second person was barely over half and then you just stopped. You were just, just stopped still underwater with your head down. And I realized what to me seemed like seconds of pausing and looking at the competition was just enough for them to catch up to me. And this is when I realized that you, know, you should absolutely, especially when it's game time, for those of you who are going to take those in-class finals or those timed finals that you should just focus on you. So to make sure you're not um, focusing obsessively on the competition, do what you must do. That might mean choosing a different place to study, might mean removing yourself from certain toxic uh, conversations, um, or unfollow people on social media that were seeing that constant feed uh, affects your mood. If you're enjoying this video, before we go on to the third and final uh, component of this commandment, do me a huge favor. Go ahead and smash the thumbs up and like this video. Also, if you haven't already done so and would like to see the other six commandments and additional videos, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the bell notification so you'll find out when the other videos are going to premiere. The third component to this commandment is run your best race. And to run your best race, of course, we're having the right mindset and patience. Of course, we're not obsessively looking at the competition, but now it's time because we still want to win this thing, we still want to achieve tremendous success, it's time to look inward and really assess you know, where we are and where we need to focus so we can run the very best race we can. You should think about what is it that you really want? Sometimes we see other people achieving certain things or doing certain things but and just unnecess unnecessarily we think about oh i'm behind but if we just pause and think about well what they're doing what they're achieving you know the promotions they're getting the awards they're getting um, the amount of time they study what they're striving towards is different than ours if your classmate wants to become a supreme court clerk what they need to achieve and do is going to be very different than you if you have no such plans. Um, if your classmate is trying to get a big law job, but you're trying to go to public interest, it makes no sense to feel bad about yourself that you don't have certain credentials or you're behind. So make sure you first remember what is it that you're really looking for. And because then based on what you're looking for, then you can correctly assess where you are and what you need to do to get there. Then 
think about what are you really good at? Remember what your skills are. So I'm going to focus on those of you studying. A lot of times in law school, because it's so hectic and it's the rat race, you start looking at what everybody else is doing. Oh my God, they're into like three study groups and I'm only into one. Maybe I should do more. But do you really study that way? Have you ever achieved results like that? Did you ever do study groups in undergrad? And similarly, like you have to remember what you're really good at. Like I knew that I have a good short-term memory. I knew that I, at the end of the day, like class is fine, office hours are fine, but I just need to buckle down alone and just study. And if I wanted company, somebody, I could like team up with somebody where I'm going to sit here quietly and study and they're going to sit over there just for moral support. Um, same thing as an associate. Um, if you want to make partner versus you want to also like, you know, to go in house in the next few years, even if you're going to make partner, there are different ways to get at, get there. What are your skills? What are your natural talents? Right? So take inventory of that. So you can make sure when you're running your race, of course, we're go you're going to work on things that you need to improve, but you can focus on, um, strengthening and bringing to the table what you're already really good at. So there we have it, guys. Our first commandment, thou shall run your own race. Remember, it usually does not end the way it starts. Remember that you should not obsess on the competition, but instead you should put your focus on running your best race by thinking about what you really want, what are you really good at and the skill set you have and the strengths you have and then coming up with a strategy and along the ways optimizing that strategy to win the race better better and faster i hope this has been helpful it's been great hanging out with you if you haven't already please consider subscribing to our channel and i look forward to talking to you soon again stay well